When the Juno spacecraft blasts off this August, it will embark on a mission to help determine how our solar system formed. But its principal goal is to understand the origin and evolution of our largest planetary neighbor, Jupiter. They have evidence that Jupiter and the Sun are largely made up of the same types of materials, um, some of the heavy elements. So if you had chemistry and you looked to the bottom of your periodic table, those heavy elements. And the other planets in our solar system don't seem to have the same thing. So what they think is that Jupiter and, and the Sun form together. Juno will carry a host of instruments to investigate the composition of Jupiter's magnetic field and atmosphere to determine if the gaseous giant has a solid core. That will help improve our understanding of magnetic objects, including young stars with their own planetary systems. What this mission really is about is studying the, the uh, origins of our solar system. We're trying to understand how the, the solar system first formed. Um, what sets Juno apart from other deep space explorers is its propulsion system. Giant solar panels will power the ship as it makes its way across the solar system. And as Halbrook explains, that's a change from current systems. The solar rays, uh, uh, this is the first time for us that we've been, been uh, going as far away from the sun using solar power as opposed to uh, a, a nuclear uh, generated power. But a solar propulsion system has limitations, especially in the darkness of deep space. On launch day, when we open those arrays and we turn to the sun, um, we can generate um, a peak power of about 18 kilowatts. So you could power houses with that. Um, if, if you, uh, once we get to 5 AU or out to Jupiter, those sol same cells will generate 400 watts. So you go from a situation where you can power houses to where you can power a couple of light bulbs. NASA says Juno benefits from solar cells that are 50 percent more efficient than those available for space missions just 20 years ago. The mission's power needs are modest. The instruments will require full power for only about six hours out of each 11-day orbit. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.